A big hello to all our event organizers who are using or thinking about using Big Marker to nail their next virtual event. Let's dive into the platform and explore the special features so you can use them to your advantage. So first you'll want to have a look at Big Marker's pricing plan and purchase one that works for you depending on how many attendees you're wanting to facilitate at your live session. So when entering the event, we'll be asked to select our audio and our webcam. So switch it on. And if you need to, you can choose something other than the default from the dropdown. And remember you're required to be using an updated version of Google Chrome and Big Marker will send a notification with instructions on how to download it for any of your attendees who aren't already on the compatible web browser. Now let's continue to the webinar and I'll minimize this host control panel because we will take a look at that a little bit later. Now, the first thing to bear in mind as an event organizer is you can always preview the attendee view and then in a new tab, you'll be able to see exactly what your attendee is seeing, just in case you want to test that out before your event goes live. Once your event goes live, we'll see this button to record it. So let's start the record. And if we open up the host control panel, we'll see this recording tab where you can stop the recording at any point. Just remember you can only stop it once. So for now, we're going to keep this running. So if we present slides, you'll see we can browse to upload a PDF. So once that's completed uploading, we'll see that this is presented to our attendees with arrows at the bottom of the screen to move between your slides and the slide navigation to preview different pages and skip straight to the one we need. In the top right corner, you can also apply a whiteboard function to this PDF. So we can add text or shapes or use the draw tool anywhere on this page. If we go back to present slides, we also had the option to open a blank whiteboard. So here we can draw anything we want, such as freehand or shapes. So with these arrows, I would just click and drag to draw at any length. And the same would go with these lines. It's just a click and a drag. We can also select to type any text or adjust the size or the color of that text and type anywhere on the screen. So you would then use the undo button if you need to, to remove the last section or the eraser to erase the whiteboard entirely. Remember only the onstage presenters have access to the whiteboard. So if you want an attendee to contribute, you'll need to invite them to the stage as a presenter. And I will show you that shortly. When we click the plus symbol, we also had the option to share the screen. So that can be your entire screen. It can be just your big marker application window, or it could be a specific tab that you've selected. So you might not want your attendees to see everything that's going on on your computer. You might just want them to see a particular tab. So let's select that tab and click share. Big marker will then send us into full screen on this chosen tab. And there'll be this notification that specifies that this is the tab we're sharing to our attendees. And we can continue moving through this web page and it will continue sharing until we decide to click stop. The last option I want to show you on the plus sign was to add a video. So we can upload an MP4 ahead of time if we like, or we can paste a YouTube link into this box here. So if I went to my YouTube video and clicked share, there would be a link which I could copy and paste back into that Big Marker YouTube video box. So when we click to add, we'll see the video appears on the main stage and you can even add more of these videos and Big Marker would create a video queue. So the next one would play immediately after the previous one finishes. At the top, we'll see that every feature for the attendee to view stays easily accessible. So that blue color indicates I'm currently displaying video, but I can click back to my PDF presentation slide. I can see the markups are still intact. Then I can go back to my camera, which I've switched on at the top here. On the right hand side, we'll see these options again. So we can see the screen sharing. We can see the presentation slide option. We can see the add a video option, but we also see add audio. And that's where you can upload an MP3 or a wave audio file. So I'm going to browse to upload and then my music player will appear for all my attendees and you can customize that further as well. 
Now the other option is to add an offer. So very similar to Hey Summit's offers and giveaways feature. This allows you to encourage your attendees to complete a further purchase. So if we click create, we'll see they've got an example here. It's a 30 minute coaching session with a business expert. So you can add an offer at a discounted price and change the button text and the design to make it all your own. And to then include the link to your website or wherever this offer is redeemable. You can also upload your own promo image and then we'll click save. So then I can either close this box and my offer will stay there for later for when I'm ready to send it to my attendees or I can send it out now. So if I press send, we can decide if we want it to be a full screen or a slide out offer. So let's try slide out. Let's pin the offer to the top of the chat and I'll add a countdown timer so you can see what it all looks like. So then when you click send, it will appear for all of your attendees with this hyperlink to direct them to your nominated site. And as you can see, this offer is also pinned to the top of the chat box with a countdown timer to be even more unmissable. Now, Big Marker has some great interactivity features for your smaller sessions. So let's have a look at this chat box. We have a few options to really easily communicate in real time with anyone in the session. So I've posted this in the public box, but we can also send something just to presenters or I can send a private message to anyone just by clicking on their name. So you've really got a lot of options here. Now there's also a Q&A feature so panelists can stay in tune with what your attendees want to know. For example, one of your attendees might post a question in their chat box click send and then other attendees can upvote these questions to specify which ones they want to see answered. And that can just be really helpful if you have lots of questions being posted so your speakers can see what your attendees most want to know. A presenter might also click the three dots to claim this question and then a colored box would appear to mark that. And that just means you're going to answer that one, which can be really helpful, especially if you have multiple speakers participating in a Q&A. Another really cool feature is if your attendee isn't answering it over camera, they can click answer and type a response in their chat box where it says answer this question. So once they send their response, the question will automatically move to this answered tab and clear the backlog of questions. In polls, we can add a poll to keep our attendees actively participating. So let's write a question. We'll use this example again. And now let's write a series of different responses. You've got the option also for attendees to select one or as many as they like. When we're ready for this to go live, we can click start polling and this will appear to all of your attendees. And when your attendees responses come through, this is updated in real time. Moving over, there's also the option to share a handout. So we can share a link to a handout that we might have on our website or some kind of drive, or we can browse to upload from our desktop. So I'm going to select my PDF and then choose my handout icon, which is this PNG here. And now I can press upload. So now when my attendees navigate to handouts, they can see this downloadable PDF, which could also be pinned so that wherever they are, say they're in chat or Q and A, it remains easily accessible at the top of the box. So how can hosts customize this webinar and configure their own settings? So check out this host control panel. It's really handy. You've got full control over your attendees experience. So you can actually disable the chat panel. You can disable private chat with presenters. You could disable Q and A. So whatever meets the goals of your individual virtual event, but don't forget to come here and customize that before your session. There's loads to look at in this host panel. So you have your more advanced video settings. For example, you can set your mic to auto mute so you don't have to remember to mute yourself when transitioning to a video. You can also select your broadcast quality so you could reduce it from HD if you or your attendees internet is struggling to support that HD live streaming. You also have the log which records all of the webinar activity that's taken place. So you might want to see what time you shared a particular handout or what time you played a particular video. 
Now back in audience, we can see our admins or hosts. We can see our presenters or speakers. We can see our offstage presenters or our speakers not currently presenting, but we can also see our attendees and our hosts can control all of these permissions that you see here. So something I love is this raise a hand feature, which is where attendees can press the little hand icon on their chat box if they want to be invited to the stage to speak. So you'll see here the hosts will receive a notification. It will say one hand raised. And then the host will click the three dots to make them a presenter, which is where they join the other speakers on stage. And once they've finished presenting, the host then clicks the same three dots to remove them from the stage. The other way that a host might respond to a raised hand is to find the name of the attendees and send them a private message, just like so. So if we jump into this attendee view, we can see how easy it is for attendees to click the three dots to select any language that works best for them. So even this chat would be translated via the Google Translate integration. Another really cool thing to consider is attendee reactions. So at the top, we can enable this feature and this allows attendees to submit an emoji reaction throughout the event so that hosts can stay up to date with how the attendees are feeling, even though they're not physically there live with you. So as attendees click these emojis on their screen, we'll see the numbers appearing on our host control panel. When the session's finished, don't forget to head to my recordings from your Big Marker homepage to view your recording. So Big Marker will give you a downloadable version so you can upload it as a replay for your attendees. And you should actually spend some time here checking out the additional webinar settings you can customize. So for example, you can view analytics and reports, or you could customize a waiting room with some personalized text or a countdown or a video for attendees to view while they wait. You can also head over to automation to check out your automation timeline. So here you can see your webinar schedule. For example, I've got a waiting room that opens 15 minutes before my webinar commences. And you can click these plus signs to add a video or a poll or an MP3 file, whatever you want. And this is just a really nice way to add a welcome video or your sponsor's advertisements to introduce your session. Well, that's it. We hope this dive into the Big Marker platform was helpful. We love how versatile it is and how seamlessly it integrates with Hey Summit.